all right so in this session uh, we are going to talk about how do we create portal in pega 8 i mean earlier we used to have um, earlier we used to have a class called data portal and that's where we were creating the portals and configuring navigation and everything manually now there's a major enhancement in pega 8 and uh, there's a different way of creating portals portals are nothing but channel right through which uh, users interact with our application. So now, uh, in every application, when you set up your application, Pega creates class structure for you, right? So it usually goes like uh, organization, app name, and then work. That's your work pool. But parallel to this, Pega also now creates one more class, which is new class, Pega 8. It was introduced in Pega 8. UI pages okay now this is the class where we create portals and everything nowadays so believe see here it, it is within the application that means every portal is application specific earlier portals were in the data portal no application specific class structure right there right so now there's a differentiation because it's within the application class of the application it is going to be within the application itself all right so in the ui pages portal gets created the standard structure of a portal is that whenever you are trying to access pega you will first first layer that will be launched is portal portals have harnesses right portal need to have an harness and within the harness you can have section harness and every other stuff that goes there okay but this is the standard hierarchy the top level is portal that's where the application access begins or you um, application rendering on the uh, on the browser begins okay so this is the interface to the application channel all right so uh, there are two ways to create a portal in pega 8 if you are on the app studio go to the channels see here the user portal automatically comes in uh, um, in the cosmos built applications we already have user portal pega six that uh, pega creates that for your application uh, when you set up an application click on the because we okay so there are different different type of channels right we have web myself we have portal we have mobile uh, we have digital messaging for the chat email uh, we have legacy chatbot that we used to have earlier there's alexa integration and all those stuff right <clears throat> we wanted to create a portal that's the web web channel right so click on that provide a name okay and then submit so this is where you will create portals the same configuration is available on the dev studio as well so go to the application menu and you'll see channel and interfaces exact same thing all right from here too you can launch create a portal so we have in our application we have created a, um, a case to let the user uh, basically create a new account now those users could be logged in not logged in we don't know is existing or new users so what we will do we will create a portal for them okay um, just for testing purpose we will uh, create a operator with the right access group that will act like a public user i mean we can put it in the mass up and all those things later as well but at this point of time let's create a portal we'll create an operator and access group and through that we will render the public portal okay so we can name it as public portal okay you can put the same description right here that's coming up all right so pega gives you these standard navigation that you see so if you launch a user portal you see these navigations these are nothing but harnesses these are all individual harness when you click on them those harnesses get launched pega automatically gives these five uh, harnesses pre-configured if you want them you can remove if you want them you can keep it if you don't want them you can remove them okay home and uh, is something that let's keep it for the public user that's what they don't need my work if they have initial initiated one 
um, one res uh, one new bank maybe new saving bank account case and they did not complete and closed it that should still be assigned to them so let's have the my work there okay we don't need spaces or reports they don't need reports what kind of case they can create in the case menu we only have one case and that needs to be created by those users so we will keep it as it is okay and then you save it so a new portal is ready now like i said the portals contain harnesses the harness contains section okay so let's see what pega created internally behind the scene so i mentioned that ui page right that's within the application so go to ui pages and this is all user interface so see a public portal got created this is a portal room okay it's it's created from the app studio or basically from the dev studio using channel interface so it's not editable right now you will have to go to landing page to edit or you can convert it into composite mode to edit it but let's not do that we don't we don't really need that okay now this portal but let me show you how it contains the harness to so composite so this has a harness okay this is the same harness see public portal same harness that will load the content into the portal so this is the harness if you just open the harness from here it will open the same room just a minute see this is the harness that got created all right i'll just uh, change it to original form just refresh it okay now this harness Harnesses have a screen layout. That means how you want to organize your harness screen, your main harness screen. So if you click on this screen layout, there are several types. You do you want to have header and left main navigation? Do you want to header and right? Do you want to have both sides? You can choose the one that you want. Okay, these are modified in the uh, skin rule. You can modify them in the skin rule as well spacing and everything at the moment it's header and left okay that's what has been chosen so that means for every space here you need to specify section so here there are three spaces right left one header two and content in the middle three three section must be there so see this is the header pega automatically cre created a header section user header you can open this to see what is there no items at the moment it's including the gadget header okay out of the box similarly it has a left navigation portal navigation section okay that that is being used from the cosmos okay and the third one is the main one what content we want to display This is the public portal content okay another section now this section has a container which has again another harness because it is going to render more than one page okay as user clicks so for that we need dynamic container all right and this dynamic container has home you see that home as the first step okay that harness home harness gets launched first right this is what we see and then after that whatever you click that harness replaces the home harness right if you click dashboard the dashboard will be, will be visible if you click on space that will be replaced and this will be replaced in this content area this is the content area okay if you do a live ui so you see home harness right this is in the content right home harness is the is in the content section before that you have the user portal main section that was configured in the content right and before that you have the portal section harness see this is hard understood that part all right now let's go back to the dev studio we saw that content and everything so whatever you need to modify in the section or wherever you can access those all here so see uh, public portal section got created that's the content 
of the first screen okay now you might need to add another uh, option as well based in certain situation right you you might want to add another harness so uh, you can create a harness here itself and then it, it will be available in the add item see these are the available harnesses but if you create the harness from the back end you will have to mark it relevant in order to show that there otherwise it will not be seen but that's not always the case i mean harnesses you need sections a lot of things has to be configured so there's easy way to configure harness new harness actually so go to the app studio again if you want to add additional option additional harness so go to the app studio click on preview one second and then toggle the design after preview toggle the design when you do designs you see pages harnesses here are called pages nothing else so you will see if you click on the pages you will see all those harnesses available if you want to create new just click test harness okay i'm creating a new one this is how we do things in the dev studio uh, app studio anyway okay so a new harness is created now okay test harness this is created this is by default header and content okay all right now this doesn't have any content so that's okay now this is available for us to be included in the new portal why is the portal not shown just a second studio all right this is coming public portal right now channel public portal so if you create a harness or page from app studio that will automatically be marked as a relevant record so it will automatically come so if i see here test harness is there i can uh, there is no content there that is okay but i can save it and now if i want to preview that uh, basically portal public portal This is how it will look like. See, test harness is coming as a menu item. So that's how we should navigate. We should navigate from portal to harness to section. And then, of course, in the section, you put your content, whatever is necessary. All right. Now, since we have created this um, uh, created this harness and portal and everything, let's create an access group for the public user. So um, we will talk about the security later. At the moment, I'm just going to save this access group as a public user. Okay. Public users. Now, this one should have access to only public portal, nothing else. Right? Save. Now I'm going to create an operator. And this should have access to only the public access group, right? That we created. This one, all right. all right. Now, if you log in with this user, you what you will see the public portal that's all you will see. Let's See, that's how users access Pega portals. That's exactly how they access the Pega portals. All right, now this user can create the case. They can, so basically, you can modify all of those stuff that you don't want here. Okay. So if you go to home. 
this is the task that I started but did not finish it is still assigned to me this is all out of the box widgets you can remove them you can update them with your organization's content or whatever you need to do you can do that so this is how we create portals in Pega 8 this is how we grant users access to that portal